everyone, welcome to my channel. Well, I was thinking of something to uh, eat for a snack, and then uh, I realized that uh, there's something that I like that I haven't had for a while, but it's going to require me to do some baking, and that is banana bread. And this is the reason that I thought about it, is I was getting ready to throw these out. They're kind of disgusting looking, and uh, but these are good for uh, your banana bread. And here's the old recipe holder here. I don't know if people use these things anymore. And here's the original card with the recipe on it. That's probably been around since I've been a kid. So my mother used to make this all the time. And I've made it plenty of times too. So, yeah. Let's get ready to make some banana bread. Let's get started. Well, one of the things I'm going to have to do is mash these bananas. Or smash them. soft enough that I think the blender is going to be, or well, the mixer is going to be able to incorporate these pretty easily. They're softer than I thought they were. Actually pretty disgusting. But when you put them into banana bread, the magic happens. Right there, but I guess 
so yeah I what I did is I I already um, I already produced the video and I'm just watching it on my laptop as I'm adding the audio okay so here's the baking powder I guess what I put in was uh, one teaspoon of soda and this is the teaspoon of baking powder is the salt this sifting the, the flour I guess this is the first time I've actually sifted flour I've never done it before but for some reason I decided to do it this time and uh, I put it in I've seen this on cooking shows where they they put it in in batches, they don't put it all in at the same time. Now this, I gotta tell you, this batter has a half a cup of milk that's going in. When you uh, pour this into a, like a loaf pan and you have any of the leftover batter, like on the mixing blades and in the bowl, man, this, this batter is so good. Of course, it has a cup of sugar in it. But yeah, this is better than um, chocolate chip cookie dough. I remember as a kid with a friend of mine used to make chocolate chip cookie dough with the contemplation of making some cookies. And we ended up eating all the cookie dough. So... I never really used to, uh, I never bought that cookie dough pre-made, that chocolate chip cookie dough that you get, that you just slice to make your cookies. I've always made, you can see there, I couldn't help myself but sample some of that batter. And, uh, I know there are easier ways now to, to flour pans, but I think I actually had one of those, uh, spray cans with the flour. They put flour in it too now. But I thought maybe there was going to be too much for this pan, but it was just the right amount. And, uh, yeah, I helped myself to the, to the batter that was left over in the bowl. And, uh, it's just the right amount because this doubles in size when it, uh, bakes. Speaking of baking, you gotta put it in a preheated 350 degree oven for 45 minutes. And uh, through the magic of video, look how quickly that, that came out.
a straightforward banana bread. My father used to like when my mom put walnuts in it. I didn't care for it. Um, so it's sort of a purist when it comes to banana bread. And also uh, chocolate chips. But that, my brother tried that and uh, got me to try it. And that's pretty good. Uh, and on occasion, I will put walnuts in it now. So I guess as you get older, your tastes change. So let's uh, cut off another piece. Well, yeah, that's the end piece there. Let me put some butter on it. I know. 